Now let's turn to uh, the the speech uh, that uh, President Obama gave earlier in the week. Um, that was it was hailed as a uh, as an important economic speech, and it's gotten mixed reviews. I mean, frankly, the things that he's proposing there they may be old, but they're still good ideas. It's just that they haven't been implemented. The what 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 is clear though from that speech, in my estimation, is that. Um, President Obama is now sort of making his bed or remaking his bed in some respects and is going to uh, seize that there's only one way for him to have any type of decent legacy when it comes to the economy, and that is going to be a, head down the road where you're picking a fight with the Republicans in some way. I don't know if it's going to be effective. It could be too little too late, but um, it's somewhat encouraging, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, it is. Uh, a lot of us wish it had come at a much sooner point when he had majorities and and it could have uh, been more effective. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think maybe they get – somehow they've come to understand that uh, the bully pulpit means something, that you can change opinion, the thing that Republicans have done, you know, forever. I mean, done it in, in always a, a dishonest way. But have used PR campaigns to turn people against things that they were for by by speaking loudly uh, and carrying a big stick, so to speak. Um, and and uh, you know, there, maybe the Obama people get now that you need to you need to make an argument. You know, I mean, the problem is from the beginning, a lot of this stuff has been made within the framework of what the right wants. Yeah. Which is anything you do has to be deficit neutral, and you always have to be cutting spending because spending we're, we're still admitting is bad. Um, you, I mean, some of that's changed, but instead of forcefully standing up and pointing out all the terrific programs that government has invested in over the years, and, and reminding people that government spending is a necessary aspect uh, of making of making some of these terrific results and terrific programs work, uh, and, and how society used to work when we did that, you know. Um, so it, it's definitely better, but I do, I, you know, and I'll, I'll give him credit for that. I do worry in terms of, you know, it is too little, too late. Um, I mean, I guess with this crew at this point, I'm really not sure what you can do. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, uh, part of it is just sort of, I guess, maybe just, um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it, you know, the, the, there's going to be a big battle come September when we, uh, when it's budget time and when it's debt ceiling time. And it seems at least that the we're going to see more of the uh, the what we saw the last debt ceiling fight, which I guess was now, uh, gosh, uh, about a year ago, I think. Um, and uh, less of what we saw than what you know from two years ago. In other words, we won't get a sequester. We're just going to get. We just don't believe that you guys are going to try and uh, uh, you know uh, renege on the country's commitment to pay off its bills. And right, um, you know, it's that is this is going to take place uh, a year out from the uh, the 2014 elections and i think you know the it seems at least and you know uh, we can talk about the, the idea of floating larry summers as a fed chair because the the fed is really one of the few things if we if we buy into the notion that there is gridlock which i think is you know it's quite clear um the fed is one of the few places where uh you know the the lack of fiscal stimulus uh, for the economy can uh, can be affected in any way and um, right. And so, uh, you know, it, it, there, there's sort of a give with one hand, take away with the other, uh, the idea of, of Larry Summers in some respects, and, and particularly when you're talking about um, uh, regulation. We spoke to David Dayan about the Larry Summers on, on, on this point, but there's... Sure, he said nice things. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, what Well, you, you know, Larry Summers will come in, he'll hire a couple of broads to work under him, you know? See if they can understand the math. Exactly. And, Larry Summers, and, famous for uh, saying, what, 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 when he was president of, uh, of Harvard, he, he, he sort of famously said that, that women just aren't very good with math. Is that what it was? Yeah, we should guide them in other directions. Yes. You know, where they're more talented. Yes. Like cheerleading and stuff. Well, uh, um, so uh, hopefully the White House is getting the message that there's just no value in, in attempting to uh, appoint Larry Summers.